Okay, so for the past like three, four weeks, um, we haven't been really doing any adventures. We've been trying to buy a house, buying a house, moving into a house, and finally we're like, we need to go do something, even if it's just for the day. So Austin's unloading the razor. We're just gonna go around his parents' house up to like a little overlook, I think, and maybe row some dogs. We also got a dog, so the dog, the little pup's coming with us too. And we'll see where it takes us. So like Tanisha said, we haven't really been out on many adventures in the last little while and we're needing some. So we just kind of came out to this spot where I've spent quite a bit of time. There's a bunch of cool overlooks. I think this one's my favorite just because it's like right over the highway. You can just kind of sit and watch the cars go by. But uh, yeah, we stopped here for a second and then we decided to move onwards and went out to this other spot to actually cook some hot dogs and basically just a chill afternoon in the desert. So, uh oh, I left the bottle on. Oh, money. We're ready. Ready for some dogs. He's working like a charm. Did you bring buns? I brought you buns and me bread. We are now on a hiking excursion. We're going to try and find this desert waterfall. And we couldn't get really as close as I thought we could in the razor, so we gotta hike maybe a couple miles. Got our little hiking dog back there. Oh, Whoa. I just about stepped in that cactus. Sheesh, now you can put that on video. <laughs> should have been. She's all dried up.
Can it see my shimmy if it's stabilized? Yeah. Or will it stabilize the shimmy out? If I was to move perfectly in time with it. Okay, so we have phase two of this little adventure we went on. We got out here and it's not super far off the highway. It's kind of like a cool little camping spot, but these fetchers came out here and shot up a bunch of stuff, which is fine. Like you come out to the desert, you shoot stuff. But the problem is they don't, they didn't clean it up. They left it. a huge mess. There's shotgun shells all over. There's like old drawers out of a dresser or something. There's like, I don't know, some jug that I seen, it looked like some other plastic. And it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because it's like a privilege for you to be able to come out into the desert and use the public lands and like do stuff like that and go shooting and stuff. But just clean it up. Like it's not that hard, but people don't barely even have their lives together, obviously. And so they leave messes like this and I don't agree with it. So we're going to clean it up. We're going to clean it up, but just like if you're watching this and you're that kind of person that leaves that stuff laying around don't do that anymore don't be that peasant that does that kind of stuff oh my god right roast them i'm saying though it's like why can't you just pick up the stuff like have fun enjoy the lands but then also don't trash it for everybody else because that's why stuff gets closed is because people trash it so true that rant is over harsh lighting is off this is what gets me the most though like packages like you had to pull the last bullet out of this and then you just dump it we like seriously if you're not going to clean up after yourself don't come play in the desert because that's horse shit sheesh Thanks for watching.